Five o'clock in the morning, and we're heading to Nip again, Ontario, just outside of Thunder Bay, to do some ice climbing. A little, <laughs> little bit tired. I had a ten-hour turnaround time at home. I just got home from Florida last night, so from flip flops to ice climbing in uh, 24 hours. Nothing wrong with that, though. Really, there's a lot wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> just a day in the life of a weekend adventure. That's exactly it. All right. Let's well, it. let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> I would like to hit a spa or crawl into bed and watch movies, but instead we're going uh, ice climbing. We're gonna go do some adventures, I guess. Hello. I'm August. August. Nice to meet you, August. Nice to meet you, Hey, Frank, I'm Wendy. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Our ice climbers. Yeah. First thing we do is get helmets on you guys. Whoa. Come on. That looks kind of crazy. Grab my shoulders. Yeah, how come we're always in harnesses? <laughs> and helmets. Harnesses and helmets. <laughs> there you go. What are our chances yes. of living a long life? Not. Not very good. There you go. And right over top of your jacket. Okay. And just when you think it's tight, we're going to tighten it just a little more. How's that? Good. Feel snug, right? Yeah. Okay, so now it's well above your hips, which is the main thing we're concerned about, and then we just want to snug up the leg loops so that they're comfortable. I feel like it looks really good, too. <laughs> Yours doesn't even look bad. I feel like I have, like, triple XL underwear on. Perfect. So, uh, how safe is this sport? Um, there's definitely an element of risk to it. Uh, we don't want to underplay that. Right. Uh, like any activity, it's a matter of... Uh, Life or death. Uh, <laughs> But it's definitely an activity that you don't want to just try and uh, figure out on your own and just wing right. it. So you want to make sure you're with someone that uh, has a bit of a clue of what's going on. The uh, climbing that we're doing here, we have four top ropes set up. And the style of climbing we would call slingshot top rope, which means that uh, we have a really solid anchor set up at the top of the climb. The rope goes up through that anchor and down. Have a climber on one end of the rope. Okay. And a person that's looking after that climber called the belayer yeah. on the other side. Awesome. You'll be able to figure it out. It looks like fun. It does look like fun. <laughs> I'm gonna walk straight. I'm actually kind of scared. And I don't usually admit that that often, but I'm, not, I'm out of my element here. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna see how far I get Joey. without crying. I'm very confident, I guess. Oh, I think she's gonna have. Tons of fun and, and get as high as she can. So, first time's the hardest. Go get high. Go get high. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you want to flick your wrist a little bit too, right at the end and sink it in? Okay, right. that's not good. No. Yeah, that's not good. No. But I'm, I'm going for any ice surface. Basically, yeah. I would actually okay. try for that. Okay. Okay. Good. And so you don't want to, like if you're rock climbing, you tend to climb sort of on the inside of your front big toe. Yeah. But for ice, it's got to be straight in. You're doing good? Yeah. Doing good? See, the um, thing is too, you have four points of contact. Okay. okay. You have four points of contact. Okay. And so it's always having three good, move on one. Okay. Right. So I can come up right now. If you want, sure. And, you, and it doesn't have to be a high step. Like you can move your foot six this. inches and that's plenty. I need my legs to stop shaking is what I need right now. Yeah, no, that's okay. So. Your calves are probably burning right now. No, everything's good. It's just I'm scared. I'm beating you. Just kidding. Okay. This looks like a hard part. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of vertical. Now you want to go more into the corner. Okay. Because now what you can do is you can, like when you get a little bit more into that corner, you're going to, uh, you can see a lot of features in there. Yeah. No, I don't really feel like I have a good foot placement on that one. No. Can you bring up your uh, left foot there, about a uh, foot? You got a good foothold there? Oh, there's blood on the rock. Yeah. <laughs> one guy that came up here, he got a, he got, he took a bad piece of ice right in the face. It's good as long as you don't look down, I think. That's yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah, if you're free to hike, don't look down. 
It's up to you how much further you want to go. This is as far as I'm going. Okay. <laughs> this is as far as my rope allows me okay. to go. Okay. Well, I'm not going anywhere without you, so. <laughs> okay. So you want to be feet in a V, yeah. shoulder width apart? Yeah. Your butt should be basically about in line with your feet. Yeah. And just walk down. Okay. Okay, lower. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. It's okay. Keep your keep your feet up a little. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> She's gonna have a break. Some sun tanning. Good place to rest. Okay. Awesome. That was cool. That was amazing. Yeah. You did so well. Yeah. So, Kirsten, what's it like being the only lady out here climbing? Uh, well, I'm the only lady out here today. Okay. Usually there's quite a few, oh, but good. It's, it's, there's a pretty active women's population in, in the climbing community here. Yeah. I've been dabbling it probably for 10 years. Oh I've God. never aspired to get very good. I just uh, enjoy it at kind of a novice, okay. kind of intermediate level. I don't cool. lead climb. I uh -huh. like having that top rope for uh, security, but yeah. um, but I do enjoy it. and I. It's just, it's such beautiful country here. Yeah, it is. I figure if you don't love winter, you can't live in this, uh, That's exactly in this region, it. right? That's absolutely so. true. So how hard was it? It's not. It's not? You know what, it's hard, it's it's getting used to it at first, uh -huh. but then once you get a feel for it, uh -huh. it's easy. Just like the first 20 it's minutes. It's easy. The first, no, it's not easy, <laughs> but like, trust me. It make, it to the, make it as far as Terry can make it. Make it to that knot. Okay. Okay? All right. Sure. You got this, sister. All right. It is, it is like, it is overwhelming the first little bit. Take your time. And don't be afraid to, boom, you gotta, you gotta hoof your foot in, then do it. So get your foot into something. Yeah, that's good. It's soft right there. Okay. You. And up in there, that's perfect. Bam. Oh. Little snap of your wrist, right at the end, like a little, little flick. Boom. Just let the momentum take it for that last six, eight inches. Oh. Just boom. This is really hard. You know what? You're gonna you're gonna start to find a rhythm here shortly. Um, it, it's putting all this together in your head. How's it going, Wendy? Oh, good. Just taking a little break. If I fall, the rope catches you. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, you got me. <laughs> nice. This is insane, this is so cool. I can see why people do this. It gets addicting. All right, you officially beat your friend. Oh, I'm not stopping now. Are you going okay? It's as far as I can go. Are you going to the top? No, man. Oh, hey? Man. Well, there's lots of, uh, there's lots of holes here, so where you go? Take your tools out like I've got. Sit back, feet in a V on the wall, like shoulder, good shoulder width apart, and just sit back and we'll do the work. Just like rock climbing. Yeah, exactly the same. Joey, you got me? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, keep your legs straight against the wall. Keep them in a V, shoulder width. Just keep walking down the ice. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. I guess so. Are you kidding? I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's what you've ever done. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay, I can see why people do this. <laughs> you did awesome. That was incredible. Okay, so that was kind of crazy. That was insanely crazy. What's generally the reaction for somebody's first time? Love or hate. Okay. <laughs> I find. Yeah, okay. It's, it's love or hate. There's it, not a lot of middle ground in okay. this sport. And when you started out, you could probably say you weren't too sure which way you were going to go. No, no, so, I didn't. You think I didn't want to go. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It was really cool, actually. It was really challenging. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. And it's a good adrenaline rush. And it's something that I would never yeah. do on my own. It took a little bit of time to find your rhythm. But yeah. once you did, it was, it was, you could That's see that it, it was smooth after that. Was yep. so, it was actually, I find, a little easier than rock climbing in a way. Yeah, it is. Like, Somehow, no, I find the same thing. Totally disagree on that really? one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rock Other than easier. like your hands cramping up, that was the hardest part. But I found like momentum wise, rock climbing was it's harder. Yeah. This was a little bit easier. Well, thanks yeah, a million thanks times guys. over for uh, helping us out today and letting yeah, us go. Right. And it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. No blood. What was it? No, <laughs> no blood. blood. That's right. That's yeah. a good day. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> yeah, we worked yeah. out quite the appetite, so, so we're starving. Yeah. And uh, good day. You've earned it. Yeah, awesome. So where are we going? We're gonna go check out Sweet North Bakery, uh, make some pretzels, I guess. That's right, I hear they're like notorious for their pretzels. I know, I'm super excited about that. Right on. Let's, Let's go. go. 
It's really nice in here. It's open. I love the layout, and I love that you're when you walk by this window and you can see you doing things. That's kind of that's really cool. Yeah. So it's very important that people see us making their food. It is with our hands. Mm -hmm because that's how food gets made. Exactly. It's not a mysterious thing that happens hidden somewhere. Exactly. Do you guys want to eat these right? Do you want to eat one right now? Mm. Oh my God. You guys, <laughs> so good. Mm. Because they're made by hand, they're all slightly different. Okay. So the only way really to ensure that they're uniform is to weigh them. But so. you don't want people complaining that they got a small pretzel? No. Exactly. Mine's going to be beautiful. I can feel it. <laughs> Wendy's? Eh. <laughs> Whoa, look at you go. Yeah, she's pretty good. She is. You take the ends, yeah. you bring it up, and you, your twist is kind of up near the top, actually. And yeah. down, and push it, and then you kind of pick it up, and look how beautiful it is. Nice it's job. beautiful. Really? Yeah, really. Well, I was just starting yeah, to get complex about Wendy, Wendy beating me at, at this. <laughs> at the pretzel making. Wendy! <laughs> You're pulling. You break it, you buy it. You have to push down, not pulling. I broke my pretzel. So the pretzel bun is the same as the pretzel, except we don't roll it out as much. Okay. But we don't want too many holes because then all the saucy stuff. I mean, that's fun when you're eating a hot Italian and you get all saucy, but. Who doesn't love saucy hot Italians? Oh my gosh. I know, I Am do. I right? You guys look really cute in your outfits. I love it. My hat My hat's a little big, but... Your hat's a little tight. I know. But it doesn't look tight. We'll do the pretzels first. Okay. What does boiling do? How does it make? It, it cooks it, things? It gives it like that outer, chewy... Mm -hmm. You'll see when so you eat it's them. similar to a bagel. Okay. In the oven. Oh, for how long? long? Not long. These really? these ovens are quite hot. It must be a really light, fluffy dough. These are our baked Persians, made with buttery, creamy, fruity icing. So you make the icing? Oh yeah. Mmm, the fruit. The total fruit. That is a huge difference. Well, that's the best version I've ever had. And it, the whole difference is, A, not only it being baked, but the icing. icing. It's totally the icing. the icing. It actually tastes like legit strawberries. That's a beautiful pretzel. We think that that one's mine and it's the nicest. <laughs> Nobody agrees with me. Here. Take that. Oh wow, feel these, eh? I know. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Are we hired? Uh, no. What? <laughs> You're super because Wendy, cute, Wendy's pretzels, but... right? Yeah, too much bakery. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. thanks for everything. These is uh, like, everything you make is incredible. Yeah, it's really Thank you. That's really good. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Thank fun. You. Thanks for having us. Thunder Bay, uh, Thunder Bay Auto Sport Club. This is the rubber dice class, and the rubber dice class, they run approximately, uh, they're, they're gonna reach around about 80 kilometers an hour down the front straight away. It's a family-based sport. We have a mixture of uh, father, son, daughter out cool. there. There's, uh, right now there's two women that are out competing. Uh, there's going to be approximately 12 vehicles out on the track okay. in the rubber series. Which and one are we going in? Uh, you'll be in that one right there, actually. It's oh. 17D. Okay, so yes. not a studded, so we're not going to be ripping at 130. 80 miles an hour, 130K down the front straightaway. They're okay. averaging 90K around the track. Okay. Wow. It is just a great way to embrace uh, the winter. Right, And yeah, uh, I've been involved with this off and on for approximately 20 years. We have full roll cages in the oh, car. All the okay. safety equipment's there. We'll be fine. Six point, <laughs> six point harness on the uh, seat belts. Right on. So this this race is gonna go, and then and then we're up. Yes. Awesome. All right. You got her. Hey, are you my driver? I am. What's your name? Nicole. August. Nice to meet you. Are we gonna win? Mm, we'll try. I need I need some faith in you. I'll Judge. try my hardest. Pump okay. it up. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll do it. I'm excited. How fast are we gonna go? My speedometer is broken. So. That's convenient. About 60 <laughs> on average. Okay. Well, you know what? I feel super secure right now. I've got a super tight seatbelt on. 
Uh, it feels kind of like I'm on a ride at the fair. So um, this is going to be awesome. This is really exciting. <laughs> I'm pumped. Okay, all set? Okay, what's it? Oh my god, it sounds like a tin can in here. Okay, no crashing. No crashing, no bangs. No crashing, no please. No crashing. What have I gotten myself into now? <laughs> it's going to be four laps. The start finish line is over by the white trailer. You can't see it. Oh, okay. So this is the start of the first lap. Seriously? You're not going to hit anybody? <laughs> Something different, eh? Yeah, it's oh, this is pretty cool. take out yeah. your road rage. Serious? <laughs> yeah. So we're here at Marina Park in Thunder Bay at the Water Garden Pavilion, actually standing just in front of what is right now an ice skating rink and in the summer a splash pad. Exactly. This is a really neat area of Thunder Bay. The views are spectacular and we're going to go have a little bite at a restaurant called Bite Eye. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and Bite is actually plays an integral part in the development of the harbour front and this area, which I guess a lot of the people in Thunder Bay are really excited about. Exactly. They have a really creative menu. They've got uh, on tap brews. One of them is our local brewery too. And, Great. Uh, I'm starving. Okay, let's go get some meat. Let's do it. What we have here um, is a whole dry aged ribeye. Um, most meat that you get in the grocery store is wet aged mm. for approximately 30 days. And uh, basically, what it does, it helps with the flavor and the tenderness of the meat. Okay. So, what we do is we take it a step further and I actually age the beef on a rack in a cooled unit, uh, regulated humidity, and regulated temperature. Um, to uh, for approximately two weeks. What it does is essentially it slowly decomposes the meat and makes it a lot more tender and gives it that kind of umami flavor. And if you see here, the meat becomes a lot darker, a lot tighter. It's it not does. such a loose steak. Yeah. Um, the flavor is unbelievable. It changes changes everything. So uh, all the meat featured on your menu is dry aged. Yes, okay. our fillets and our ribeyes are all dry aged. The steak tartare is dry aged. The only thing that's not dry aged is the terry more beef okay. from the local farmer because we bring right. it in ground, right? We try and experiment with uh, our clientele basically with our features. Okay. We'll try something different, something new. You know, people might be a little bit weary. We'll try it at first, mm -hmm. but then, you know, it, it always turns out great. Well, I'm really excited to try this food. I'd cool. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's a passion of mine. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right on. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we have Thai style cal calamari with the in-house Thai chili sauce that we made. Our classic steak tartare with our dry aged uh, beef tenderloin. Is that an egg yolk as well? Yes, it's a raw egg yolk. It's traditionally served that way. Adds moisture and binds mm. it all together. So you basically want to add as much components as you want. Okay. Uh, there's fried capers, the Dijon, Hawaiian salt, parsley, um, minced red onion, okay. and then you eat them with the chips. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is our Mediterranean pizza. It's a uh, great vegetarian option. There's eggplant, zucchini, olives, feta, matzo cheese, um, and then our Kyle Mari, which is served with rice noodles and then uh, in-house made Thai chili sauce. Awesome. Okay, you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Are you ready to dig in? Yeah, I totally am. It's a dish that you don't wow. see very often. It's really good. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the best pizza I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, cheers. Cheers. It's a good day and good food. Absolutely. So this is our Terry Moore burger. Um, it's eight ounces of local ground beef. There's bacon that's diced up into the patty as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, pickle, onion, house-made mustard, cheddar cheese, arugula. This is our house-made ketchup, and these fries have Asiago and truffle oil on it. Okay. Here we have our seafood crock. Oh, wow. There's king crab leg, <laughs> uh, shrimp, mussels, clams. There's Cajun roasted potato, corn on the cob. Uh, chickpeas and then some parsley and it's uh, Cajun butter and tomatoes uh, yeah. tomatoes in there as well. Here it is, the dry aged ribeye that I cut for you guys earlier. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna say usually our steak is about 10 ounces. This one's probably roughly closer to 30. It, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's some grilled red peppers, um, potato wedges that are fried and then tossed with thyme and then this is a, a malt gastrique which is basically vinegar that's been cooked with sugar. Okay. Wow. So you guys enjoy, you got a lot of food. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where to begin. I don't either. We're in heaven. <laughs> food heaven. <laughs> we'll do a food coma today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>